Hey guys, it's Pingu here with part 15 of the Door Fortress tutorial. This tutorial will all be about metalworking. Um, we will get the industry going up so we can have some armor for our military that I haven't trained yet, but uh, you should be getting one right about now. Or at least just, just four dwarfs. You don't need a lot, uh, especially if they're training all year round. They will level up very quickly. Um, so before I go any further, you need to build a few workshop areas. So hit B. And these are actually not in the workshops menu. They are under furnaces, which is a uh, E. Um, and there's a we want a wood furnace. So uh, W for wood furnace. Oop, well, we want, I'm just putting another one because I like two of uh, each type. And we also need a smelter. So uh, hit S for a smelter. Um, now go back to the menu, and we want a workshop. Now this last one is under workshop. So W for workshop. I see I didn't even find it, I just hit W. And we want a metalsmith's forge, which is F. Uh, Metal Smith's forge is a bit different because because it requires an anvil in order to build. And we only have one anvil that will come with us uh, when we start our uh, from the wagon. But uh, So we can only build one for now. So our first task will be to get an anvil uh, up and going. Now I can almost guarantee you will not have a wood burner or a furnace operator, uh, the necessary uh, traits. So find somebody who's uh, pretty useless, like uh, this guy is a novice miner, we'll just set him. Um, wood burning is under farming related for whatever reason, like it's not under woodworking or under metalsmithing, it's under wood burning in, uh, I mean it's under farming. And uh, we'll find somebody else, and we want a uh, smelter. Uh, he, he looks okay, let's find uh, somebody a bit more useless. Um, uh, this guy, here we go. Uh, we'll set him to be a uh, a furnace operator, which means he will operate the smelter. And uh, say this guy, oh, he's just a milker. Um, so we will set him to be our blacksmith, which is actually a bunch of these skills. Now you can have individual dwarfs being uh, set to, set to these, but it's good to just make sure you have at least one guy that can do all of them, because uh, otherwise you'll have jobs sitting there in that uh, metalsmith's uh, forge that won't get completed just because you don't have that type of uh, uh, worker there, even though you may have done uh, units before and after. Now this is already uh, complete, our uh, uh, metal uh, smith's uh, forge. Uh, there are a few metals you can make weapons and armor out of, um, just a few. Um, there's adamantine, which is the, the most powerful in the game. It is also unbelievably rare, and, but, but still unbelievably powerful. Um, it's really only good late game. You can uh, spend your entire fortress life uh, just looking for a few ores of this uh, adamantine. Uh, the next most powerful is uh, steel, actually, and we're going to make some steel, and so it's great. It's a, it's a very powerful, but also it requires a lot of inputs. Uh, um, bronze is the next most powerful. There's actually two types of bronze here. They're both the same, really. Um, bismuth and, and bronze is just a, is an alloy bismuth, uh, but they're both functionally the same. And then after that it's copper. Um, no, sorry, it's iron after that. The menu is confusing me. Then it is copper, and then it is silver. So silver is the worst. But we have we're gonna make some steel and uh, and a little bit of iron because iron is easy, easy to make. But uh, we will have a awesome military set up uh, once we can get those uh, weapons in place. So there's a. Uh, this wood furnace here is used to turn wood into charcoal, and uh, charcoal is used to power the reactions for the smelter and the uh, metalsmith uh, uh, workshop. So, for every task you do in the smelter and the, the uh, metalsmiths, you need one fuel in order to operate it. So, uh, so everything we do revolves around making sure we have enough charcoal. So, I'm going to chop down some trees. Uh, you can find magma, and you can and probably will find magma, including uh, you'll also experiment and try embarking on a volcano a few times, uh, just because it is a great resource. Um, it cuts out the fuel required to uh, to power these uh, places, but you still will need uh, some sort of fuel source to make uh, steel, so it, you can't completely get away from burning wood. If you don't like burning wood, or you don't not in an area with trees, you can actually turn these uh, this coal around here. I think this is uh, lignite. Uh, and but if we go down a level, there's actually some bismuth coal down here, and those can be turned into uh, those can be turned into uh, coke, which is a, a type of fuel. I'll get into that quickly, but uh, I mean soon. But I'll quickly make a two charcoals um, because we only have one anvil, and we want to just make a, an an anvil, um, so we will be fine, and we can make another metalsmith uh, just for later on. 
Um, so in order to turn this into coke, um, you need one fuel, and then one lignite will make two fuel, while one fuel and one business coal will make um, three fuel. So the the net product, the net uh, output of using a lignite is one fuel, and a business coal is two fuel. So uh, you can smell those in the coke, and coke is identical to charcoal in, in usage. Um, now they suspended the furnace. I don't want that suspended. But it looks like uh, we have one charcoal already done, so we, we can now power the smelter. Now, if you came and tried to add a task when you didn't have fuel, it would uh, it would not show you anything here. We want to smelt a limonite ore, uh, just one. Limonite is this yellow uh, material, which is, has Fe next to it, which means it can be smelted into iron. Uh, there's a few different types of uh, of ores you can smelt into iron. I, I think we only have limonite uh, in this. Uh, uh, facility. On uh, melachite, I believe smelts into lead and uh, and silver, but uh, you can uh, experiment or just look it up. So we have the bar already done. Um, now at the metalsmith's forge, we want to make a an anvil. So go to other objects, uh, iron, and forge iron anvil. Uh, just like that, uh, we can now uh, make our anvil. Uh, the the metalsmith's uh, workshop doesn't work the same as the other workshops in that it will show you every type of material you can use. And if we actually go back over it, there are if you try and make furniture, you can make furniture out of a lot, and they all have uh, different uh, values. But you can only make weapons and armor out of a certain amount of things. So we're gonna try and make some coal. Um, the manager's uh, uh, menu was built for this. Um, you hit J and M for manager. And we need to make a few or, uh, work orders. Now, this recipe is kind of complicated. Um, we need to make pig iron as an intermediate stage, and then we can make steel. So in order to make pig iron, you need one iron bar. So we need to smelt the iron bar in the first place. Uh, we want limonite. Um, we're going to make uh, 15 of these. Uh, uh, we're going to make 15. Uh, we're going to make 30 steel total, actually. So 15 uh, limonite. Uh, with 15 charcoal, because you need to power that reaction uh, to, to smelt that limonite, so we actually need to put this a bit higher. And then with a one uh, iron bar, we need one flux bar, and then two fuel um, to, to make the, uh, the pig iron itself. So we need uh, 30 charcoal now. And we can make this pig iron bar now uh, with, with that. So we want just 15 pig iron bars. Okay, so that's pig iron. Uh, that will produce 15 pig iron, and uh, now for steel we need one iron bar again, so we need to make 15 more charcoal and uh, 15 more limonite. And uh, we also need one other pig iron, which we just made. Uh, we need one flux stone, which we'll grab. Uh, all the white, uh, all the white, uh, I forget what the name we ha we have, but and we also need uh, two fuel for just steel, so we need to make 30 more charcoal. And uh, you can quickly see, charcoal is the vast majority of this. Um, and that will produce a uh, two steel bar bars uh, uh, for every... Um, okay, we'll produce 30 steel bars. I'm multiplying this recipe by 15. Uh, because one one thing of... Uh, oh, ooh, 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 almost forgot the last one. We need to make, make steel. So steel. Steel bars. And we just make 15 of those, but that will actually turn out into 30 steel bars. And uh, and I think this is the end of the tutorial. I will quickly make the metalsmith's forge. And uh, we'll cover some, some more uh, military stuff once we can uh, get these bars up and going and uh, turn them into some useful armor. But I think I've used all my time. And you will also uh, see a lot of these warning messages here. Um, this is because the manager's workshop will not do it in order. They will do... They will make sure that if you go to the manager, that it will try and make a uh, limonite ore before pig iron bars, but it will not do it uh, in order of other workshops. So you have to uh, ignore those cancelization messages. Um, that's all for now. I'll see you next lesson.